was the most damage you can cause with $10. A sock filled with $10 in quarters could mess a few people up. Try $10 in pennies. Find twin three-year-old boys at Walmart. Show them the money and tell them whoever makes small people scream inside the store can have it. Buy a bag of fries. Take it to an outdoor subway, underground, whatever station. Slowly feed bits of the fries to pigeons. Amass several hundred pigeons in front of you, waiting for fries. When the next train comes, just before the doors close, hear the entire bag of fries into the car so the pigeons follow it into the car. But the people don't have time to get out. Ideally, do this just before a long section without any stops, followed by several underground stations. Repeat 15 times. Fries are cheap. You forgot. Soak fries in laxatives. Step. That cuts into your costs. Would you rather do these 15 times without laxatives or 6 times with assuming an amortized cost of 66 cents per packet of fries and 7 dollars for a bottle of laxatives? Choices. Choices. Damage to others or to yourself? Cause you can buy cats movie ticket. Buy a thing of ladybugs and release them into someone's house. Use the leftover cash to buy men's seeds and plant them in the same enemy's front lawn. They'll never get it all out. Crickets. They're way worse. They make noise and have a curious habit. They won't leave dark place into a bright one, so the little bastards won't come out of their hiding spots until it's night time and the lights are off. Real fun in college dorms when you can turn the lights off in the hallway. Release bag of crickets when everyone is asleep and they'll immediately seek out the darkness area they can find. The crack under everyone's doors. Buy $10 worth of diesel and dump it in the next ground water source. Few drops can ruin 1000 liter water. Nine and half dollars worth of glitter and a stamp address to a clean lab environment. Unless you specifically write, only open inside the clean lab please on it. Really though, get 10 stamps and some flour and send some flour in envelopes to several government institutions. They will definitely close those facilities till they are sure it's flour and not anthrax or something. Edit flour to flour, lol. For real, my hobby worked at a branch of the Aussie tax office. Initially in an inward mail. Yep, anthrax lockdowns over flour actually happened. Buying $10 of sting bombs and throw them around a clothing store, including the stock clothes. Spend 5 on super glue, use glue to secure the other 5 through the floor of a Walmart entrance. I knew a guy who welded a quarter on top of a nail, then nailed it into a wooden dock. You would reliably see 2 to 3 people try to get it each day. Buy a dead rat, frozen from lab supply. Buy a single large ball jar. Buy a small bottle of hydrogen peroxide. Use the leftover $4 for alcohol, cause this is gonna get weird. Drop the rat in the jar, it has to fit, although you could trim it if feeling blocky. Add about 2 pour of peroxide and then an equal amount of water. The jar should have at least half of its height in headspace, no liquid. Twist the lid on as tight as you can. You now have the most potent stick bomb you can imagine. If the peroxide breaks down the rat flesh, it will help it petrify with the oxygen, to a point where the death stink will be increased to vomitous levels at 25 from detonation. Depending on ambient temp, the bottle will swell and explode between a few days and a week. Put it in someone's closet, under their bed, a couch, and they will likely have to sell their house, cause that stank ain't ever coming out. Clarification, this is not a bomb for throwing, this is a bomb for hiding and living for days and destroying property, making it unavailable via stank. Do I win? Ball of brake fluid and expensive car dealership. Drizzle and hoots. Wreck finish forever. Sounds like an expedited ticket to jail. Most dealerships have pretty heavy lot security cameras, so that's definitely a cheap way to cause a lot of damage to the rest of your life. Burger at its worst. Sounds like an expedited ticket to jail. Isn't that the outcome of most of these ideas? 
$10 worth of tap water. That's got to be a good few gallons, right? Half goes into the hospital's power supply, the other half into the back of power supply. You ask. My tap water is a perks 0 0.003 per gallon, so ignoring service and server charges, that's over 3000 gallons. That's gonna leave a mark. $10 Jimbo bag of Jolly Ranchers. Lick each one and stick them everywhere on somebody's car. When they go to pull them off, they also pull off the paint. Bonus points if it's hot day and the candy is smell. Just have to lick it off your car. Why waste perfectly good candy? Buy some gallium. It literally eats aluminium. Just a small amount will kickstart a chemical chain reaction that will eat through Ali like popcorn at the movies. It's quite slow. 10 milliliters will eat through 1 cm sheet aluminium in about 6 hours. It soaks into the aluminium and spreads incredibly far. Google it. One large drop on your head stand as engine on his nice sports car will literally make the engine casing fall apart faster than your emotions. Good luck, wear googles. Buy condoms and cheap women's lingerie, leave it under a guy's bed and you just ruined a marriage. To yourself, 2 liters of really cheap vodka that starts like paint stripper. Couldn't you just buy $10 worth of actual paint thinner and drink that? Because paint thinner is yucky. Buy a dead fish. Put fish in van far from sight. Wait. At my high school, someone put a bag of frozen fish in a third floor ceiling tile the last day before spring break. Two weeks later, they had to close the entire third floor and replace the ceiling going 40 feet in every direction, and the floor under the original area, and the ceiling under that on floor second. It smelled like rotting fish in that entire building for the rest of the year, and all classrooms had to have their windows open with fans running to have glass. They did it deeper clean, dead or ice over the summer, but for the next two years that I was there, the third floor still smelled strongly of fish. 1000 pennies, Empire State Building, make it hail. It costs more than $10 to get to the top of the Empire State Building. Pouring caramel on someone's windshield. Exchange the $10 for 1000 pennies. Pay $10 lunch in a super busy fast food restaurant with only pennies. I've always heard in the US that you can reject payment for any reason, like the customer paying in all pennies. Just because it's legal currency doesn't mean they have to accept it. Wait until you find an old Nokia phone on eBay for really cheap, and then you have the best weapon ever made. I once saw someone screaming at his girlfriend on a Nokia 6010. If I see you with him again, I'm going to kill both of you. He apparently chucked the thing across the street and bounced it off the wall. He then calmly walked over to pick it up and continued to yell at her because the damn thing didn't even drop the phone call. Fill someone's exhaust with expanded foam, pour sugar in their gas tank. You can buy condoms for a body, then poke holes in them and be responsible for another human's birth. Thanks a lot for watching and don't forget to watch other videos.